Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician, and on this video, I'd like to work through a couple of more examples on function machines and how they work. But instead of using linear equations like I used in the last problem, on this one I want to see what happens when we use different equations. So, let's go ahead and look at a couple of more examples. I'm going to draw my function machine. And this time, I'm going to make my equation be y equals the square root of x plus 1. So this time, I have an equation inside my function machine that's going to require a little more work to get through. But it's still going to follow the exact same process. So for this problem, I'm going to make my input be x equals 8. So 8 is the input that's being dropped into the function machine. And again, I want to see how this equation is going to change it so I can find out what my new output will be. So now I just have to follow the same process that we did last time. I need to rewrite my equation. y equals the square root of x plus 1. And again, instead of writing my x variable, I'm going to write what x equals, and that was 8. So let's work through this problem now. I have y equals the square root of 8 plus 1, which makes 9. And my last step is to find out what the square root of 9 is, which is 3. So the output for this function machine is 3 when x equals 8. Let's work through another example. I'm going to draw my function machine. And again, I'm going to keep the same equation inside. y equals the square root of x plus 1. And I'm going to drop in a new input of x equals 12. So 12 is my input. It's being dropped into the function machine. I want to see how the equation is going to change it, and I'm going to see what the output will be. So let's go through the same steps again. I'm going to rewrite my equation. y equals the square root of x plus 1. And again, instead of writing my x value, I know that my input for this problem is x equals 12. So I'm going to write 12 instead of x. Now, y equals the square root of 12 plus 1, which is 13. Now, since the square root of 13 is an irrational number, and it has a decimal that goes on forever, instead of writing out what that decimal is, I'm just going to write my answer as the square root of 13. Now, some teachers might want you to find out what the decimal approximation is. So all you have to do is to get on your calculator, type in 13, take the square root, and we can see that this is approximately the same thing as 3.606. All right, so just to recap, we started with our inputs at the top. They were dropped into the same function machine where the equation was y equals the square root of x plus 1. We worked out our problems to the side by inputting those inputs, and we found out our outputs were y equals 3 and y equals the square root of 13, which is approximately 3.606. On the next video, I'm going to work through more examples on other types of function machines. It's That Math Magician, and I'll see you next time.